Hey, it's your buddy Ken here in Memphis, Tennessee with James. How you doing, Ken? Here's a fun fact about Memphis. Go. Why do you always put me on the ah, spot? Ah, it's because it's fun, James. <laughs> yeah, it's the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0 again. It's an amazing drone. But one of the things it can't do is it can't film things above it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this camera right here. Hello on the top like that and then go under the bridge and see what it looks like see if we can get a different angle on things attaching it to the top where i normally put the loom cube strobe with the industrial velcro and that'll keep it on there in fact it's so strong you can even lift the drone with it how about that no we're good we're good don't be are you nervous yes I don't am be nervous. nervous and james being the expert pilot that he is right yeah yeah Oh, that, that didn't <laughs> that instill confidence, confidence in me. <laughs> <laughs> the idea was to have him chasing this with his Phantom. Are you sure you can do it? Yes. You sure? Yes. You sure? Yes. Positive? Yes. I'm Positive? Sure. Yes. Positive? Yes. Positive? Yes. Positive? Yes. Positive? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're not on the same plane, are we? You're going to be a little bit above me? I'm um, going up just there we go. All right. Oh, I can't wait to see what the underside of the bridge looks like. How exciting. Exciting. All right. Going over the wall here. There's nobody down there. Oh yeah, the underside of the bridge. Let's see what it looks like on the GoPro. All right, I'm stopping. Okay. Have I'm you stopping. been following me? Yep. Uh, you Excellent. I think you probably has, have the harder job in this. All right, you're facing me, aren't you? Are you turning? Yeah, so now I'm coming back. I'm staying where I'm at. You go ahead and come. I'm now going we'll... forward, and I'm going to go between these two pillars. Isn't that what people have on their beds? Pillars uh, and blankets? <laughs> okay, I'm following you now. Oh, uh, out over the water. Yeah. You are going. I'm going fast? Uh, I can still see you, but you're, you're catching All some right. speed. I think I'm going to go over to Mud Island and go under the uh, the tram thing. All right, I got to catch up just a slightly bit. Are you following me? Yeah, just keep going. Do not stop what you're doing. Excellent. I'm going to continue at this speed. Okay. You might want to stand up so you can get better signal, James. I'm still good. All right. Still clear. And I'm going to slow down. Okay. I'm slowing down myself. And All right. I'm going, to, I'm going to turn around. Okay. I'm stopping where I'm at. I still see you in my view. And I can't go up any higher because. Can <laughs> you stay with you? Yeah. I'm going to come back. Okay. Are you directly behind me? I'm doing an orbit but I'm staying, keeping you in view. Okay, I'm coming back. Okay, go ahead, you're good. Coming back. All right, now I'm following you. It's a little disconcerting not to be able to go higher because I can't, like if I wanted to go over these trees, I couldn't. So I have to find, <laughs> that is so weird. What? That I can't go any higher. It's gotta be something, cause your, your firmware is older than mine, right? Yes. That's got to be the reason. All right. We're coming back. All right. I'm right behind you still. And there we are. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> line, the line is yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Mm -mm. I don't get that. You're fired. <laughs> well, there you go. How did it look? I won't know yet until I get back and edit. Was it shaky? This is a GoPro Hero Session 5. I don't know if it's practical. If ever you need to film something straight up, like bridge inspections, cloud inspections. <laughs> Anybody inspect the clouds? James used to be a cloud inspector. A lot of people have been wondering if you could put a camera on top of a Phantom and film straight up. Well, wonder no longer. You can! And the propellers don't get in the way. Actually, I have a pretty good bit of real estate on the top of here. Again, is it practical? Depends on what you want to use it for. More adventures down the road. Thanks for your help today, James. You're welcome. Until next time, buh. And bye. Who's that guy? It slices, it dices, it makes mounds of julienne fries. It's the Phantom Chopper. <laughs>video lovingly sponsored by remotepilot101.com if you are serious about making money with your drone whether it be photography or fpv well then you're going to need from the faa a 14 cfr part 107 certification and the best place to study for that certification is remotepilot101.com jason shepherd is a pilot and author of eight best-selling aviation flight training books and yes Taking tests suck, especially government tests. But Jason breaks it down into 10 easy lessons into little digestible pieces that even someone like me can learn from. And if I can do it, you can do it, by golly. Each lesson is streamlined. There's no fluff. Everything you need to know for the test and nothing more. Plus, it's regularly updated. So if something new comes out, a new regulation, or the FAA just has a mood swing, Jason will let you know about it. Use Heron18 to get 30% off. That knocks the price down to 104 bucks. Look at that, boom, magic time. You wouldn't drive without a driver's license. Don't fly without a UAS license. Remotepilot101.com.